Okay. So, we've just seen a number of videos, which you at home will have links to, I hope. Uh, to start in on fascist Italy. First off, who is Benito Mus himself? Benito Mussolini. He starts out as a journalist and a socialist. He is um, a bit of a politician, and in World War I, he goes to the front as a reporter and a war correspondent. But after the war, which Italy joined strictly and solely in order to um, get a hold of Tyrol and the Istria, and the Tyrol and Istria, and the city of Fiume, and other territorial gains. Italy entered World War I for, for land. Um, instead, of, instead of coming back with that land, Prime Minister Vittorio Orlando, at the Treaty of Versailles, came back with some games in the Tyrol and Istria, but not the city of Fiume, and not uh, other concessions that the Italians had been led to believe would be theirs. This is largely because nobody cared, because Italy had already done her part, but it's also because Woodrow Wilson found the whole idea of going to war for land seedy and unseemly and beneath him, because he was an idealist. So the Orlando government falls, and uh, Italy is in a moment of political crisis. By this point, Mussolini had left socialism, he left it during the war, and created a new party, a party that had some socialistic ideas, but had also some strongly nationalist ideas. This new party was named after the symbol of the Roman Republic, the Fascis, the uh, bound uh, pack of, of, of sticks with an axe, the sticks for discipline domestically, the acts for the foreign invader. And fascism was a combination of intensely national ideas, national pride, nationalism, the notion that we are all one people, rich, poor, urban, or rural, uh, male or female, the opposite of identity politics, that we are one people. And as one people, we will move forward. Fascism harkens back to Rome and says that we will have a resurgence of glory as we are today's Romans. With the political crisis, Mussolini pulls off one of the most successful bits of political theater in modern history. He and his black shirts begin a conspicuous march from far away in Italy towards Rome. And everywhere they go, the fascists are joined by friend, friends and by other fascists. So you start out with a small group of black shirts. They're called black shirts because, well, remember uh, Giuseppe Garibaldi and his red shirts? The red shirts unify southern Italy and um, help it join with greater Piedmont Sardinia back in the time of Risorgimento. In this case, Mussolini is going to uh, unify Italy under the fascist banner, and their uniform is the black shirt and khaki trousers. The black shirt is key. They march on Rome, and basically the threat is when they get to Rome, there will be violent revolution. This is almost an imitation of what happens when Caesar crosses the Rubicon back in ancient times, except I believe the march on Rome happens from the south. In any event, as the threatening group is approaching Rome, Caesar's back in ancient times, Mussolini in the early 1920s, the government in Rome blinks and retreats. In the case of Caesar's time, it was Gnaeus Pompeius Magnus, Pompey the Great, who retreated from Rome uh, ultimately to Greece, and uh, he was defeated there and then to Egypt, where he was beheaded by young King Ptolemy and avenged by Julius Caesar when Caesar arrives. In the case of the early 1920s, the Italian government retreats, and Mussolini is offered the opportunity to form a government by King Victor Emmanuel. 
So the king of Italy gives the fascists power when the fascists march on Rome. I think, because of the vagaries of time, I will leave it with Mussolini then has therefore bluffed his way to power, in large part because of the Italian frustration over the results of World War I. They lose so many people. Parts of northern Italy are devastated. And from their point of view, they get so little. We will continue tomorrow on Italy's corporative state. And we will then talk about the Japanese uh, coconut chai. Thank you for your attention. Remember those at home, get the quiz done today by 3.